Hello everyone and welcome to series 5 of our video tutorials. In this series, we will be going over videos covering some of the most commonly used MT4 indicators. To start with, in this first video, we will be discussing what moving average is and the different types of moving averages that you can use for your trading. So the first question we address is what is a moving average? Moving average, as the name suggests, is the average value of a financial instrument's price over a given period of time. It is a mathematical average of the price calculated by using a set of past data. Moving averages is considered as a trend indicator used to smooth the price data and identify the current trend of the financial instrument being traded. So how are these moving averages used for trading? Moving averages are often considered or treated as underlying support or overhead resistance levels. If the price of the underlying financial instrument on which the moving average has been applied is trading at a price above the moving average, then in this case, the moving average can act as an underlying support. Alternatively, if the price of the underlying instrument is trading at a price below the moving average level, then in this case, the moving average can act as an overhead resistance level. Crossovers of different period moving averages are often used as trade signals. The crossover of a shorter period moving average, which is also known as a faster moving average, to a longer period moving average from below is considered as a buy signal. While a crossover of a shorter period moving average over the longer period moving average from above is considered as a sell signal. Let us have a look at this on the platform itself. We consider the example of, of the dollar Swiss franc. We've applied the 50 period exponential moving average and the 200 period moving average to this chart. You can do so by clicking on the insert option, select indicators, go to trend, moving averages and specify your parameters. So as you can see, when the 50 period moving average, which is the shorter period moving average, crosses the longer period or the 200 period moving average from above, it is considered as a sell signal. While a crossover of the shorter period moving average to the longer period moving average from below is considered a buy signal. As you can see, the price has been trending upward since the time the crossover took place and at this crossover which is a sell signal since the 50 period moving average is crossing the 200 period moving average from above this sell signal is followed by a subsequent fall in the price of the currency traded so therefore the crossovers are often considered as trade signals and used by many traders while trading we consider the different types of moving averages that can be applied on your trading platform. Moving averages are classified based on their computation method into the following types. We have the simple moving average, the exponential moving average, and finally the smooth moving average. We will now discuss each one of them one by one. Starting with the simple moving average, Simple moving average is calculated by taking the arithmetic mean of a given set of price values. It is one of the most trivial and commonly used moving averages. The simple moving average gives equal weighting to each data point or the price value considered for the computation of the average. So as the new prices keep becoming available, the simple moving average discards the oldest price data and keeps using the latest price data in place of the oldest one. 
By doing so, it is constantly moving or changing its data set by taking into account the new price data as it becomes available. This ensures that the moving average value is constantly being updated with the new price data. The value is continuously plotted on the graph as an indicator of the direction of the trend. While considering the set of price data to apply the simple moving average on, we can select to apply it either on the open price, the close price, the high or the low of the currency pair or the trading instrument in consideration. Now that we understand what the simple moving average is, we shall see how this is calculated. As mentioned, simple moving average or the SMA is the arithmetic mean of a given set of price values. So it is equal to the sum of the price data that is considered divided by the total number of values considered. For example, let's take a 10 period simple moving average applied on the close price for the euro dollar. We need the closing price of the past 10 days in order to compute this simple moving average. Assuming the data set as given in the table below, we calculate the SMA using the formula that simple moving average is equal to the sum of the observations divided by the total number of observations. Now for the first 10 days, SMA is equal to the sum of the close price for the first 10 days divided by 10 since we are considering 10 values. This comes out to be 1.32198. Now for the next 10 days, starting from day 2 up till day 11, we discard the price data for day 1 and use the new price data available for day 11. Therefore, the number of observations taken into consideration remains 10. However, the price data has been updated with the latest available data. So we consider the close price starting from day 2 up to day 11 for the second SMA. Using the same formula, which is sum of the values divided by the total number of values, we get that the second reading for the simple moving average comes out to be 1.32183. And this way the process continues to go on and these values are plotted as a line graph which we call the moving averages as plotted on your charts. Next we have the exponential moving average. The prime difference between the exponential moving average which is also known as the EMVA and the simple moving average is that while the simple moving average gives equal weighting to all price values, the exponential moving average on the other hand gives more weighting to the recent price values and lesser to the older ones. These weightings depend upon the number of periods in the moving average. Just like this simple moving average, the exponential moving average considers the new price values as they become available. Thus the data set is constantly moving by taking into account this new price data. The value is then continuously plotted on the graph as an indicator of the direction of the trend. Let's look at an example for calculating the 10 period exponential moving average using the close price. Calculation of the exponential moving average requires an initial data point or a price value. Mostly, the simple moving average over the same time period is taken as the first value or the starting value to begin the calculation of the EMVA. There is another component which is used in the calculation of the exponential moving average. It is known as the exponent, which is used as a smoothing factor in the calculations. The formula to compute the exponent or the smoothing factor is 2 divided by n plus 1 where n is the number of days in the period plus 1. So in our case 
since we are considering the moving average over a 10 day period n is equal to 10 and therefore the exponent would be 2 divided by 10 plus 1 which is 2 divided by 11. Now that we have the value of the exponent the EMVA or the exponential moving average values are calculated using the formula exponent times the difference between the close price which is the reference price of the previous day minus the previous EMVA plus the previous EMVA. Let's have a look at how this is done. So we consider calculating 10 day EMVA using the close price. For the calculation we use the 10 period simple moving average as our initial data point or the starting data point for the calculation of exponential moving average. The exponent or the smoothing factor value is equal to 2 divided by 11 which is 0 0.1818. Putting these values in the formula we get E1 is equal to 0 0.1818 times the difference between the previous close and our first reading, the product plus our first reading. This comes out to be 1.32198. Now this E1 value which we just computed will be used for the calculation of E2 and so on. This way we keep getting the values with E0 being the initial data point that is the 10 period SMA. E1 being what we just calculated. Calculation of E2 would require the use of E1 and the close price for day 1 and so on. So this way as we keep getting the values of E0, E1, E2, E3 and so on, these values are plotted as what we see as the exponential moving average on the graphs. And finally we have the smooth moving average. The smooth moving average is a combination of both the simple and exponential moving average. It assigns equal weighting to the recent price data. However, the weighting varies as we move further towards older price data. The smooth moving average takes into account the new price values with equal importance. This data set is also constantly moving by taking into account the new data as it becomes available. The calculation of the smooth moving average involves subtracting the prior period's smooth moving average from the current period's price. The difference is then added to the previous day's smooth moving average to give present day's smooth moving average. It will be easier to understand by means of an example. To calculate the smooth moving average we need an initial data point, just like in the case of exponential moving average. The smooth moving average of the same time period is often taken as the first value. The other remaining variables that are needed to calculate the smooth moving average are the smoothing period n, that is the time period that you're taking into consideration, the smooth moving average for the same period as the first data point, then we need the close price and the smooth sum of the previous set of values. The formula can be summarized as the smooth moving average for a given period i is equal to n times the smooth moving average for a period i minus 1, the product minus the smooth moving average for the period i minus 1. To this difference, we add today's close price and divide the entire result by the number of days in the period. So considering the example for a smooth moving average over a 10 day period, so the first value is taken as the smooth moving average for period i minus 1 which is taken to be equal to the simple moving average over 10 day period which we calculated as 1.32198. n over here is 10 days and the close price is 1.32200. Putting these values in the formula above we calculate the smooth moving average for day 1, that is SMMA1, that would be equal to 10 times the SMMA0, the product minus the SMMA0, 
which was also equal to the smooth moving average for 10 period. The result plus the close price and then the final result divided by the number of periods, that is 10. And we finally get the value as 1.321982. This was just to get into the details of how the smooth moving average is calculated or how any other moving average is calculated, but their use on the trading platform simply requires us to select the moving average from the insert tab as shown and applying it along with your preferred parameters onto your chart. We hope this presentation was of use for you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.